everyone, welcome. So in the second part of this video, we'll be pretty much giving you a walkthrough on how to use a Commons Power app. So this app's been heavily requested by our customers and it has a lot more new improvements than our previous one. So we're really hoping that this will be a long-term tool for everybody. So if we're getting started, this is pretty much the homepage you'll be met with and you'll need to figure out obviously how to sign in or if you already have an account, um, click on the top left-hand corner and then sign in. And if you already got your details, just input it there and press the red button there. If not, click on the blue sign up link and you'll be able to fill in your details here like so. But we'll talk about that later. Um, if you don't want to go through this path just yet, you can go back and then click on our news trial version. So let's say you just wanted to use a trial version for now. You do have basic access to all the basic features like you see here, server center, and if you click on the top left hand tab again, you just have all the basic features you can see here. So you're ready to create your account. So back on the left hand side, click on the tab again, click on create account. And like we saw before, just input in all your basic personal details. Then if you scroll down, um, you can put in your ESN and GSN numbers. And if you click on the add button, that's where you'll actually put it, like there. But if you don't know how, it actually provides you instructions to find them, which is really um, convenient. So if you click on the tab, it displays all the instructions there. Uh, if you go back, it's the same for the GSN, same thing. Um, it gives you instructions as well. So once that's all filled in, just click on sign up. So you've created your account and you've signed in. So once you do so on the menu page, you can see that they display a lot more options for you to choose from. So you've got vault codes, parts inquiry, product campaign, your service center like before. But if you scroll down a bit further, you see that we've got extended warranty and use fee. So if we click on our extended warranty tab, um, it actually gives you three direct links to our commons.com site. You can also click on the contact us tab down here as well. So another feature included is our product campaign. So when you click on that, Pretty much the engine serial numbers or the generator serial numbers you put in when you signed up, it will all display here. And for instances, I already put in two serial numbers, for example, and I'll click on the first one to show you. Um, it says ISX15 um, turbocharger Westgate actuator out of adjustment campaign for Australia. And then it follows on by saying that you should contact your closest common support center or your nearest service location. And if you want an action that straight away, you can go back and you can see below here, it has a contact us button, which you can press on and it will just display all the relevant contacts you'll need to follow up with that. So if we click on the service center button, it will map out uh, all the closest commons dealers and service centers closest uh, to you. So I'm currently located in Victoria. So all the red dots you see here are all within my region, which is really good. So if you click on view all, it actually displays all the um, details for each um, service center for you. So for instance, say I would like to visit Cummins Lamington. If you click on that, it will display its address, its phone number, and how, how many kilometers it's within your area, which is really good. So if you click on the contact us button, you'll see that there'll be direct links to the Australia and New Zealand um, customer service support numbers like so and we also got the direct links to our website um, all south pacific and the global one and you can also provide feedback here which is really good so let's say you decide to click on our news feed tab we've got really cool publications that we upload here for you to have a little quick browse at so we've got the latest genuine difference we've got our common websites um, again both southpac and global and we've got really cool um, commentary and case studies that you can have a little browse at Another really good feature is the fault codes feature and you can actually search up the code from this app. So I'll do one for example. So and then you press search and you can see it displays the description of the fault code below. And again, you can action this through um, by contacting our Commons Care below here. Uh, if you don't know how to find your code, you can actually go back and then we've got instructions attached demonstrating where you can actually find it, which is really good. So if you entered an incorrect fault code, an error message will pop up prompting you to try again or contact the CSC, which is our Customer Service Support Centre. So last but not least, our Parts Inquiries button allows you to uh, search up an engine or a generated part and then there's a drop down 
where you can put in your ESN and GSN number and under that you provide a description and then upload a photo of the part and then submit. So after you submitted your request, you will receive a message of confirmation and you can either accept the message here or you can contact our CSC team if it's urgent. And that concludes our video. We hope that it was insightful for everyone and please do not hesitate to contact our team if you have any questions. Thank you.